Okay, dolls, let's go ahead and install her. This wig came with the right side part. I typically wear my parts on the left side. However, I'm gonna just leave it alone because I don't feel like being bothered with it. At least I think I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> Let's see what the end results looks like. I love that some of the curls still maintain even through shipping. So as you guys can see, this still has Hair Vivi's beautiful Swiss lace. Almost non-detectable. Pretty good lace. I'll go ahead and cut it up. I'm gonna lay this down today using my Ozzy Moist Free Spray as well as a little bit of the Got To Be Glue Gel. I don't know where my Got To Be Glue Spray at. It disappeared. Don't ask me how a whole can I Got To Be Glue Spray disappear, but <sighs> welcome to my world. I'm pretty sure I did this backwards. I haven't used the got to be glue gel in so long i for even forgot how to use this i'm pretty sure i was supposed to put the gel first For my parts to have a curve. Thank God, here BB wig has a lot of part and space on it. I'm gonna use some of my wax stick. Speaking of part and space, it's been so hard to find wigs with lace nowadays. You guys know every video, almost every video, I'll be complaining about the hair shortage. But the other day, somebody actually asked me if I can elaborate about it more. So basically, the lace front part of the lace wigs that we wear. Um, that is handmade and that's typically done in Korea. Since the coronavirus, Korea has basically shut down their borders. I think it's North Korea. Um, basically they shut down their borders as a means to, you know, kind of maintain the virus. So they stopped all that importing and exporting, which means they're not sending out any goods um, to any countries, including your lace. <laughs> So what does that mean? That means that the other countries who make and sell the units have been forced to move to handmade wigs instead. So that's why you see an influx of like the headband wig, the T part wig, the U part wig. Next is probably gonna be the J part wig. I don't know what's next. But uh, <laughs> that's basically the reason because it, because most of that handmade labor was done in Korea. So there are some companies, of course, like Hair VB, who still has lace available, but because it's done in-house, the production is gonna be limited and the prices have gone up for everything, basically across the board. I personally have been affected by it. You guys may know I started my hair company last year and it's just been so challenging just to even find lace wigs that has six inch parting or more. Full lace, forget about it. I don't know. That might be a thing of the past. Or if you get one or pay for one, you are going to pay. It's gonna cost you. I'm thankful for companies who still have lace. So just be prepared to pay for your laces. If you have a lace wig now, cherish it, take care of it. 
because the next time you buy a wig just know it's gonna cost you more and the thing that bothers me about that is that most of the time once the prices go up on things they don't usually go down with that being said if you can get a wig now at a good price good quality you better snatch it up and as I said earlier, I really love the fact that this wig still has curls in it when I receive it. Like I did not curl this. Let me just bump the front. I would cut this bang but since I installed this on the right side and I normally wear my parts on the left, I'm gonna wait. So this is basically all I had to do for this install. This was a really simple install. I love when it's like that, okay? Okay y'all, let's get into this unit. As I mentioned, this is the reverse ombre unit from Hair Vivi. This is in 18 inches. Let me stand up real quick so you can see where this lands on me. Let y'all see it from the back. This is a really unique color. This is the first time I've ever seen a reverse ombre. This is in 160% density and you're gonna get six inches of parting space. Let's get a round of applause for that. Usually we don't applaud six inches, but we are today. Now, although I mentioned earlier that Hair Brevy does have their own production, which is a means of them being able to still produce and make these lace units, it's not without limitations. There are going to be a lot less units available than normally would be. Therefore, if you do need a unit immediately, then it's best to pick from their list of wigs that I believe ships within 48 hours. Otherwise, if you're not pressed to receive this unit, you could of course just order this one. I actually love this. Definitely gives custom vibes. It definitely doesn't look like a unit you would just purchase that's in stock. The cap size that I'm wearing is about 22 and a half inches, which is around the average cap size. However, Hair Review does offer custom size units, so you can order a cap size that's smaller or bigger. So be sure to pick the one that actually fits your needs. Also, this unit is available in a fake scalp. I actually wish they would have sent me a fake scalp. That would have been real convenient, especially since that my powder is not working. However, it doesn't look bad without the face scalp, but it is like an added bonus and I don't believe there's any extra cost associated with getting the fake scalp. And best of all, Hair Vivi has already started their Black Friday sale. So you can save, I believe the savings are like $30 on a unit, which is a pretty good deal. And I'm not really sure how long this sale is gonna last. I believe it will last at least through Black Friday. I will of course have the coupon code available listed in the description down below as well as the direct link to this unit. So if you are interested in purchasing this unit, be sure and get that sooner rather than later because once it sells out, it's probably gone. But if you catch this video after Black Friday, of course you can always use my coupon code. I'm gonna go ahead and put that across the screen. That's a permanent um, code. You can always use that for additional savings. So dolls, as always, everything I use in this video will be linked in the description box down below. But before we get out of there, I'm gonna need your help naming this unit. What are we gonna call her? <laughs> Go ahead and leave your name suggestions in the comment section down below. I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed earlier this week. The new name as well as the person who submitted that name will be listed across the screen. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, stop procrastinating. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. I finally reached 100K. I wanna thank you all so much for your love and support. I really appreciate y'all and I hope y'all stay tuned to see what's next. And as always important, dolls, until next time, you guys stay blessed. And if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video. Take care now.